Hi everyone, it's Judy and Daisy and friends here sending a video postcard from my home to yours. Today our postcard will include three things, highlights and lowlights. I'll share words and illustrations from a favorite book of mine, Images of God, and we'll wonder together about how we can discover and share the beauty of God through play, creativity, and helping others. Stu, Clarice, Silly Monster, and Oliver have been playing outside all afternoon, and they want to share their highlights and lowlights. Stu has been working on a story, and that's his highlight. Stu has a special book for his story ideas. It's his writing journal, and he fills it with new words he discovers, drawings and ideas from his imagination. I wonder, do you have a special place to keep your ideas? Stu is not quite finished with his story. It's about why squirrels live in trees. You can write or draw stories like Stu. Stories can be anything you want. Silly, sad, tell about adventures. Stories can be full of facts or invented. The important thing is that your stories are yours and you can tell your story to others. It's fun to share creative work with friends and family. Clarice's highlight is that she's been bike riding. Clarice learned to ride her bike this spring. She was a little wobbly at first, like we all are when we try and learn new things. Clarice fell off her bike many times and that was a low light. But she dusted off her hooves, got back on her bike, and kept trying and practicing. She took breaks to drink water and rest, hydrate. Taking breaks for rest and to drink water helps our bodies, our bodies that work so hard for us. It helps our bodies to recover for work and play. Now, when Cl Clarice rides her bike, she can pedal, pedal, and go as fast as the wind. Another highlight is discovery. Clarice likes to discover and invent new physical challenges for herself. Today, she took cones, spread them out, then pedaled her bike in and out of the cones. It was fun to hold the handlebars and glide around the cones trying not to touch them. I wonder, what challenge can you discover or invent to play and have fun in new ways? Silly Monster and Oliver have a shared highlight. They've been working together on a project. Parents love projects. Children can have projects too. Silly Monster's project has been adding rocks to his collection. Oliver has been helping gather interesting rocks. Silly Monster and Oliver like to hike and look for rocks along mossy banks, beneath tall trees, and stomping and tromping through crunchy leaves. They like to discover new rocks. They hold rocks in their hand. To learn more about the rock. Rocks can be rough or smooth. They can have layers or stand all alone. Rocks can be beautiful. When my son Will was a boy, he liked to gather and collect rocks. 
all kinds of rocks. Some were heart-shaped, some sparkled. And he liked to find rocks shaped like the letter J and given to me as a gift because my name is Judy and Judy begins with the letter J. I wonder, do you have a collection of special things at your home? It's fun to discover, find beauty, and collect things to share with friends and family. In the book, Images of God, the author Marie Helene Delval says that even though we cannot touch or see God, the Bible describes many images that help us discover and see God in our world. I have two images for you. God is a rock. Rocks are hard. They are solid. They support anything that is built on them. A house, a strong castle. They can stay standing. You can stay standing on a rock without ever fearing that you will sink down. God is beauty. The mountain peaks and great depths of the sea, the light of day and the shadows of night, the marvelous birds and the fabulous fish, the multitude of trees and animals, all these splendors are just tiny reflections of the perfect beauty of God. Perhaps what reflects God's beauty the best is the expression of people who love, who hope, and who work to make life beautiful for themselves and for others. You are a reflection of God's beauty just by being you. You are a reflection of God's beauty in the way you love and hope and play and create. I wonder where can you discover God's beauty in the world around you? I wonder how you might share God's beauty with others. From Daisy and our friends here, I pray you have a good day and a peaceful night. God bless you.